Inside this waterline operation, I have this orange highlighted toolpath. This is basically meaning that there's some sort of collision which we can check against the part for toolpath checker. So based on these tolerances, it will scan the part to be able to see if there's any kind of collisions. It shows there's four highlight collisions, and then we could also kind of try to piece that together looking at the toolpath to see where those collisions are. So the problem with this uh, situation is that the tool is too short and the holder is colliding with that island feature, that boss feature that you see there. So when we hit play, we start speeding this up or we start going through our simulation. We can actually start to see eventually when it starts going down into the part where we could see some collisions at. Clearly the holder is colliding with the part, as you can see with the situation here. We can also check against the part by putting the tool on a specific point. So if you select a specific point here, you can start to see how you can see that holder collision. With situations like this, if you can't change the tool, this is where auto tilting can come into play. So simply just by right clicking, go into transform operation, you can select auto tilting. We can choose a holder clearance, which will keep that holder away from the part as specific clearance. You can choose a shank and an angular clearance as well. So I'm going to set my maximum angle as 45 degrees, so that way the holder will automatically adjust between 0 degrees and 45 degrees to fit into certain areas. I can choose from short length distance, long length distance, uh, basically to choose whether the tool is going to go back or going to retain that angle. So when I select this, just by a simple auto tilt, it actually builds this 5 axis auto tilting operation, which uses the same tool path as our waterline operation, but it's going to show the auto tilt within the operation. So if I run this within Toolpath Lab, you will see the auto tilt in the Toolpath Lab and there's no collisions. So this was very, very simple just by simply selecting an angle and the system automatically recognizes and starts doing the auto tilt where it sees that holder collision to keep the correct clearance. So as you can see, it's automatically tilting where it is required. We zoom in, you can see how it's keeping the clearance on the holder itself as it's going throughout this process. So as we go through our situation, it will only auto tilt where it's required and then it'll go back to the three axis standard operation. So, as you can see, as we go down throughout this entire path, it's doing the auto tilt where required automatically. So once again, very simple to create. All you have to do is just simply right click the original operation, go to transform operation, and then select auto tilting. The system does the rest from there, and it creates your 5-axis feature.